Hi everyone, so welcome to Creative Writing Poetry. This set of notes is just to go through the syllabus here. So I'm going to break them up into two different parts so you should see it on the screen. Um, just to give you a good sense, you can go through your side by side as I'm recording here and kind of compare both of them together. So here's the general information about our course. We run July 1st through August 9th, our official title for our class, and we're in summer session two. Briefly underneath, you can find the Rosemont mission statement, which is important to keep in mind and read, and I'm sure it's on all your syllabi as you've been accustomed to. Directly underneath that, you'll find my contact information. So Professor Baker, my email, my office, which of course it's summer and a lot of you are off campus anyway, but if you did need me, we can set up an appointment. Um, email again, and of course my extension number. Now because we're a Canvas class, I also has virtual office hours, and you can always uh, find me through Canvas through sending me a message there. You can always email me, but I'm definitely always on my email between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. on Monday and Wednesday. I'm also available to set up chats on Thursday from 12 to 1, and I can talk about those more if uh, you find that you need those. Of course, everybody has different schedules, so if something doesn't work, just let me know, and we can um, find a time that meets together. So to go through the syllabus, we'll go and look here. This is your syllabus, and it's what you should expect coming out from the course. It's an outline of the responsibilities that I have in conducting and teaching the class to you, and it's your responsibilities and what you're going to be fulfilling and doing in this class, okay? So, um, of course, things will come up and pacing will change, so it's really, really important to make sure that you are checking Canvas and checking your email daily. That does not mean something is due every day, but it certainly means that you need to be checking um, in all the time. Because this entire class is facilitated online, you run the risk of really missing something if you're not checking in. Now for our class, we have a couple different requirements. You'll have some readings that I'll post uh, between a mix of articles, websites, videos, other media, podcasts for you to listen to and watch during the week. We have three books that we're going to be using parts of for our class. They are Poetry Handbook by Mary Oliver, The Oxford Book of American Poetry, and In the Palm of Your Hand, which is more of a writing workbook. Um, so I won't um, use these extensively in the first week, just to give you a little bit of time, but you should make sure that you have these in whatever format that you like. If you want them in print, all of them are also available in digital formats. It's entirely up to you. Um, but just make sure that you have them because you're going to need them. You're going to need them to understand what we're doing and to follow along with the notes that I'm giving. Our course description, um, it's based on a simple statement that you're going to write and discuss your own projects and poetry. Um, but to do that, you have to read and respond to poetry thoughtfully, hence why we're using especially the Oxford Book of American Poetry. Um, I picked this one just to give us a basis of where to start. Of course, poetry is worldwide, um, coming from all different genres and ethnicities and geographics across the world. But I'm just starting here, especially if it's your first time or you're coming back for a refresher on poetry. Um, we're just going to look at some American poets to kind of give us some balance. So we'll read contemporary published poetry. Poetry, and you'll also be reading the work of your classmates. So it's really important to be open and willing and ready to share because that's what you're going to be doing in this class. Um, so that's very, very important to provide, you know, intellect and insight on everything you read, whether it's your own work, somebody else's work, or even an expert's work um, on the class. So you'll get feedback from myself, you'll get feedback from your classmates. Our objectives and outcomes that we're looking for want to give you an understanding of contemporary poetry, um, poetry from where it originated, how it's crafted, how it's published, help you appreciate that a little bit more, uh, really develop your own productive habits so that if you do want to continue writing poetry, you totally can and feel confident with that. Give you tools that you'll need with revisions and edits to make your work and the work of others better and more insightful. And just give you a sense of how much poetry plays a big role in our society then and now. 
you should expect to gain from this class work of, you know, understanding um, poets who are writing today and also poets that have been written in writing before. It'll give you a sense to look at different journals that publish poetry, um, and you can go back and look at that. Um, you can understand how the poetics can be used to read effectively and write poetry. Um, the different elements that go into that, you know, we're talking about voice and style and diction and rhyme for some examples. We'll also talk about using elements and contemporary poetry publications to enable you to write and revise your own poems and the chance that you want to submit a poem to a journal or a magazine. You'll be constructing, um, you know, very critical and insightful comments on drafts of poems from yourself and others. And in turn, you'll be able to uh, definitely read more effectively um, your poetry and the poems of others aloud and to yourself. So we got a lot to do in the class, but it's going to be really good. Um, I'm very excited to get through these goals with you. Now, because it's an online class, and also if you've ever been in any of my classes, all papers must be completed to be receiving a passing grade. Every assignment will have a specific assignment sheet. Everything is posted to campus. This course is entirely conducted online. So all assignments, all course interactions are in line. We use Canvas, which is Rosemont's online learning platform. If you're not familiar, you can find resources here to help. And this is also how you log into Canvas. As we keep going through the syllabus, um, all work is submitted electronically. All papers go through Turnitin, which is right through Canvas, so you don't have to submit anything else. Please note, you really do need to have regular access to a computer um, at, at many points in this uh, course. A smartphone will not do it. A tablet, only if you have the apps on your tablet, your iPad, that will enable you. Obviously, you're going to be doing a ton of writing and also recording, so um, you have to make sure that you have that with you. You should make sure that your web browser works. I work through Google Chrome. It seems to work fine. Um, please make sure that you have access to using a camera and microphone. You can totally use your phone for this. You can use an app on your phone and then import it, export it to, uh, you know, send it to yourself and you can upload it online. I really suggest having the latest version of Adobe to open sometimes PDFs. And of course, Microsoft Word. Um, which you can get through your Rosemont Campus email interface or however you're going to be using to type this. Google Docs does not always work and does not always um, does not always translate well over uh, inside the interface. So make sure if you are using something like that that you know I can open it, everybody can open it. Same thing with using your files or MP3 files that you upload or however you're going to upload video and audio. Um, make sure that you always, always, always test things out before uploading because that's a big thing. Um, so, you know, make sure, make sure you do that. Um, you, you're agreeing to all the contents of Turnitin and Canvas when you're using these platforms. So as I mentioned, all communication is sent through Canvas and through email. I always try to do double duty. If you have questions of a personal nature, such as grading or something else, communicate it privately. Definitely make sure you email me if you don't want to send or post those or anything like that. I, you know, I'm, I, if you've had me before, I'm pretty quick with my email to get back. Um, so just give me a little time with that too. So moving on. We'll talk about the different ways of communication for this class. So uh, you're on our Canvas page, and I'll go through this in another video. Of course, you should always refer to your course syllabus. You will always see announcements in Canvas that I will send you. And there is a water cooler discussion board. This is a place where you can post general questions that you might think some other classmates of yours might have as well. It's one of the first things you'll see on the Canvas page. Um, here, your questions can be answered. I check in with them, um, especially if you think others might have the same question, you're welcome to post here. Now, because this is an online course, you know, uh, attendance and participation still plays a really big part, and I'll address that a little bit more in terms of timeliness. Um, you know, you should be minimally logging in at least three times a week, um, but as I said, you should be looking daily to see what is going on. 
I will never assign something due every day. In fact, you'll see I always keep to certain patterns so you can plan out your days when something is due. Um, and if anything is due differently, I always let you know in advance of that. We absolutely keep and adhere to our academic integrity policies here. Um, it's very important that all work you do is your own work in the class. Any cheating will result in a zero on the work in question, a letter grade reduction in the course grade, um, and an end, you know, unfortunately at times an ending in failure grade. So please make sure all work is your own work that you do in this class. All assignments not completed by the deadline will not be accepted. I do not take any late assignments, um, especially in a fast-paced course like this. You really have to stay on top of any, every and anything. Um, but uh, barring any extraordinary circumstances, I don't take any late work. That's for all my classes, in person or online. Um, this course requires you to spend about, you know, uh, a, a good amount of time preparing and completing assignments. Any three credit course requires about 135 hours of student work. So you should expect to spend about at least 10 hours a week preparing and working through this class. If you need any types of support, um, obviously our student services at Rosemont College, the Dean of Students, SASC, the Counseling Center and Wellness Center are all readily available to you. Um, if anybody has any accommodations, please do let me know and make sure these are on file with Dean Chittick's office and the Dean of Students um, if you need them. Like I said, the SASC is available. They are over um, definitely working over summer, so if you have any concerns or need tutoring for anything, um, that's just something good to keep in mind, please know. Any concerns, please let me know as well. Um, everything is recorded for you, so you shouldn't have to, any problems with this with recording lectures. And another reminder about submitting assignments, uh, everything must go through Canvas um, or else how I designated it, otherwise it will not be accepted. Of course, you can absolutely access all of our library resources should you need to do that. The library is open uh, during the summertime, so you should definitely kind of play with that too. Um, I'll conclude this first set of notes just by going through the grading, and then I'll talk about um, the breakdown of how we're going to do this in the next set um, to not make it as long. So you'll be grading a couple different ways. Because this is an online class, you can expect that your discussion forums and your participation, peer commenting, posting through text, video, audio, and responding and commenting with your group and myself in conversation makes up a big part of your grade. Your discussion forum is the virtual space where you attend class. Um, you should be in Canvas, as I said, a minimum of three to four times a week participating. Um, there's no synchronous meeting time, so you'll want to log in often to see if there's a comment or something added to the discussion. It's not so much about being the first to post and then not checking back in. Um, that won't earn you any, you know, sort of merit. So we'll go through the discussion forum requirements in our next set of notes, which you can find after this. We'll have formal writing assignments, which include the final drafts of your papers after revisions and peer commenting. Depending on time, these will be about four to six. Uh, during um, you know the summer session. We'll do some journal and informal and practice writing prompts and exercises. These are meant to help you understand and get into the formal writing ones. You'll have a final portfolio assignment which will be completed at the end of the semester. And then during the week we'll do some surveys, quizzes, digital projects, and recordings just to kind of mix it up and give you a chance to submit um, other different types of work. And like I said, all assignments have to be in on time. All work is submitted via Canvas, so there shouldn't be any issues. Give yourself, if something is due at 10 p.m., don't try to submit it at 9.58. And if something happens, it doesn't work, um, because then that will get you into a uh, definitely iffy spot. So um, I will start with going through the rest of the syllabus and the other part of the notes here, so it's not too much for you to sit through. So uh, sit tight and look for those.